Merlin's just landed right, right in front of me. How are we doing, folks? What a beautiful morning. It's an absolute stonker. So, we're somewhere different today. We're down at RSPB Marshside, which is near Southport. Now, I haven't, oh, I'm saying I haven't been here. I haven't been here for a long, long time. And just, I don't know, we're thinking of somewhere different to go. And it's not something I do a lot of, is, is this kind of photography out on the marshes and that. And we have an absolute wealth of, of habitat around here. You know, the Lancashire coastline, the Ribble Estuary, it's one of the most important, you know, winter feeding grounds in the whole of the UK so we're so lucky really and it's uh, it's time to tap into it I think so we've got ourselves a new piece of glass which I'm really excited I've not used it yet so um, yeah we're gonna sit down here we're, we're quite near to the road to be honest so I apologize for any any road noise but it's just a, a fantastic vista here you can see well, I don't let's have a look let's just alter that exposure got geese flying over and oh there's all sorts of stuff so let's get set up and we'll see what we can see set up and then out of the road. We've got a lovely viewpoint here. It's such a big area to to watch. I mean I've been here five minutes and I've seen a marsh area go over already which is encouraging. I believe there's Merlins about here, there's hen harriers, peregrines, obviously you've got your kestrels, short eared owls and that's just the raptors and that's without even mentioning the wildfowl with egret, you know, little egrets, tons of stuff. So I'm hoping today we're going to see something, but with the help of our our new piece of glass that I mentioned. Now, I mentioned it before in a couple of films. No one ended up sending me one, but <laughs> that's not surprising. But yeah, we've got ourselves a 600 F4. It's a, a Nikon. It's a version two, um, no VR on it, which. Or, I mean, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it, to have, a, have one of them, you know, with your, with your, your VR, especially the VR2, they're so light, but <laughs> along with the lightness goes the expense as well, and I ain't got that kind of money to splash on a piece of glass like that. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to be a bit of a game changer, really. You know, the, it's just the, the quality of the prime lenses, and I know they're not as versatile, you know, as your zooms, but, you know, I know it, it's kind of going old school, really, because a lot of lads who I follow, they're all ditching the, uh, you know, the, the DSLRs and the, the big glass, and they're going to these, you know, mirrorless and micro four thirds, and you know the smaller stuff. But I don't know whether the glass is there yet. I mean, you, you know, people may prove me wrong, but um, I just think these these big fast prime lenses, they just take you, they can just take your photography to another level, you know, and they they allow you to just be that that bit more. I don't know, creative, you know, your, your foregrounds and your backgrounds and um, say the, the clarity when you, you know, pair them with a, a decent DSLR. I mean, I'm, I might even, I'm looking at the moment to go to a Z6 II just purely for the, for the video side of it because 
that's one thing I do struggle with the D500 is, is getting decent video footage and obviously YouTubing that's a big part of it you know it's not just getting the still pictures it's the uh, the video as well so we'll have a look at that if there's any anyone who can give us any pointers on the Z62 and uh, how good it is I'd appreciate it but uh, yeah we're gonna we've got the the ghillie ghillie blanket over the camera here we we bedded up nicely we've got against against this backdrop here against the banking so we're not so bad we'll get some uh, some camo on well I've got my jacket on anyway but we'll get some gloves on and we'll bed down and see what what pops along like I said it's a beautiful day absolute cracker cold light you know I had to scrape the car off this morning but uh, what time are we on now it's eight o'clock Maybe a little bit late. Tide, the, the high tide is due in about 10 o'clock. It's not going to come all the way up to the road, which it does sometimes on a big tide, but I think it's about nine and a half metres today. But it might just push the birds this way, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, I'd, I'd really like some pictures of the, the Merlins or the, or the Harriers. There's a lot of posts along here, so you never know. We might get one landed. Stick with us. today right I'm gonna put this on I'm gonna put the old screen on not any chance for any still shots yet but we've got a marsh area go over which were nice 
Well, I did get a couple of shots of that, but only at distance. So I'm going to put the screen on. See if we can get any any video footage. Shield on. A little bit bright behind us. Do. Bang on. I'll tell you what. Time for a brew, I think. I think we're going to have a we're going to have a change of location in a minute. We're going to have a bit of a wander. There's a bit of a causeway down there, so we're going to have a walk. But uh, yeah, location like this, particularly on this kind of habitat, if, if you're looking for raptors, one of the best ways is to keep your eyes peeled on the on the post. If you've got a the, the thing is here, there's loads of fences, loads of old fence posts as well, and. The raptors, they absolutely love sitting on the fence post, so a bit of a tip for you, you know, get your binos out and scan the scan the, the fence lines and then once you've been around and scanned them, keep going and scanning them again and invariably you'll see someone sat on one and then you've got eyes on them and you can kind of, you know, just keep, keep a look on them and, uh, you know, if they fly off you might get a shot, they might come near or, or whatever, but uh, another thing as well, just look for other flocks of birds taking off quickly because what's happening here you've got all the geese and the ducks that are on the, on the pools and then when one of the harriers goes over it flushes them and then again you've got eyes on so it's cold today winter's arrived hasn't it it's sunny but yeah it's cold I think we'll, I think we'll have a brew Coffee. Then we're gonna we're gonna have a move. We're gonna have a walk. Then we walk down to the down to the shoreline. See folks knocking about down there. It's good. We've had a bit of a move, not a right lot going on over there. Saw a few things, but uh, yeah, we're just having a just having a walk, and I've seen quite a few stone chats knocking about. They're on all these. Oh, oh, oh hang on a minute. Right, <laughs> I've just I don't believe that. They've just had a merlin. A merlin's just landed right, right in front of me. 
and it's on it's on a it's on a, a sign a dog what is it I'm not sure what it says actually but I'm gonna put this down now it's gonna fly out I'm sure it's gonna fly off right I'm gonna put this camera down and I am gonna try and get some shots of that bear with me Right, I think we're going to call it a do. It's been a cracking day. I've had, <coughs> I got that ace picture of that Merlin. That was a cracker. That was that was the shot of the day, I think. Um, what else have we had? Some reed buntings, uh, stone chat on them on them grasses back there, which were good. Um, <coughs> got a mer another Merlin on the post, uh, but it was at distance. And we've seen areas, and we've seen hen areas, marsh areas. Seen a peregrine, kestrel, uh, what else have we seen? No owls, no shorties, so they're not knocking about, but I would imagine they'll they'll be coming down soon off, off the hills. So yeah, that's that's our SPB marsh side at Southport. Cracking place. I mean the <laughs> the views today are unbelievable. I can I'm just looking over there and I can see the well I can see the Snowdonia range, the Welsh mountains, and over there behind Blackpool in the distance, we've got the Lake District, we've got the Bo uh, the Trophy Ball in there, we've got Longridge Fell, we've got some amazing views today, it's, it's brilliant. The light's a little bit too harsh to be honest, but we've had a cracking day. No, any time spent outdoors, it's not wasted is it? You know, it's all uh, it's all learning and observing, it's been, a, it's been a belter. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though, on the way home, I'm going to go and visit uh, that barn owl um, hide that well not a hide but the the barn owl location that I've got because the weather the last few days it's been well the last couple of weeks it's been awful it's put so much rain down so I'm thinking you know if the uh, the owls are knocking about they might be out hunting early so but um, are we on it's quarter past one now and the thing is when it, we're a location like this as well on the coast the high tide is, is the better option because it pushes the birds in, you know, any wading birds and that. Obviously they want to be on the on the foreshore, don't they? But the tide's gone out now, so they tend to follow the tide out, you know, and they're uh, after all the worms and the crustaceans. So there's not a lot of uh, birds within reach, if you will, because the tide goes so far out here on this, on the Ribble Estuary. Uh, yeah, so that's it, that's it for it. If I get any pictures of the of the barn owls, I'll st I'll stick them on the end of this video. Um, you know, I might get a bit of bit of footage as well. So, hey, that's it. But cracking first do with the 600. I'm well chuffed with it. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a beast. It's a workout, like, but uh, no, it's it's a cracking bit of glass. I'm well chuffed with it. So, 
hey that's it for this one right signing off see you on the next one if you've liked it give us a thumbs up uh, I appreciate all the all the comments and you know I, I'll tell you what I have been doing I've been putting a couple of reviews on lately product reviews now if you don't want to watch them you know just just turn it off but the thing is I, I mean I explained it in one of the uh, one of the descriptions the last one I did you know companies they, they ask you if you want to test stuff and a lot of people they you know they look at reviews I know I do it before I buy something I always go on YouTube <coughs> and uh, look at look at reviews for stuff so you know if it's not your bag just just turn it off but uh, so yeah that's it for this one hope you've enjoyed it it's been great to get out again it's uh, you know it's, it's just it's time consuming isn't it but yeah we've made the effort we're out we've got some good pictures tested the new lens out well chuffed so if you've liked it give us a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't and we'll see you on the next one see you later Right, as I said, we're just calling in at the Barn Owl uh, location on the way home. Now, just literally, I put the hide up. I came, came last night, put the hide up, and I just walked down, and there was one sat, <laughs> sat right on the fence line. So I managed to get a couple of shots of that. What I've done, here I'll show you. I've just set up, just down here. I'm not going to go in the hide at the moment because I've got quite a quite a decent backdrop here with this with this hawthorn edge that's hiding me a bit, and I've got a better aspect. The hide's a little bit further down, just there, but I get a better viewpoint here, and I can see right along. There's a there's a fence line runs just along there. I put one of the posts. I put it in. I put it in last year. Just zip tied it to the uh, the existing fence line, but it's a nicer looking post, and it's about a foot taller. So the idea is that they'll go and sit on that one. Now I've photographed them on that one before, only a couple of times. So we'll just edge with bets and hope that that we get something. So. Sort of <laughs>